you know what? If it works, it, it, you're the only person you can get an early morning interview. Like what? This. What? This I... is because you block out, man. This... What? All right, all right, all right. Yes, sir. Today's a special day. It's the day I've been looking forward to. I've been looking forward for this day. Ever since she called me up and we chopped it up, I've been looking forward for this day right here. Mm-hmm. This young lady, been in the game for about six or seven years, I believe. We'll, we'll get a definitive number when, when I bring her on, but she is a sister. She's an aunt. She's an entrepreneur. And, and, hold on, I got to turn this down for you so y'all can hear, so y'all can hear me and understand what I'm about to tell y'all who she's from. She is the founder of She Trucking. That is right, y'all. Yes, sir. I got Sheree Moore on the podcast today. Yeah, yeah. Sheree, Sheree, Sheree. Sheree Moore, everybody. That's what's up. What's going on, little lady? Nothing much. How are you? I am, I, as, as you can hear in my voice, I am super excited to have you on the podcast, man. I, I mean, it's, it's awesome. Thank you. Oh, go ahead. Go Thank on. you so much. It's an honor. To be. It's an honor. It's an honor to be, you know, okay. on a hey, on the podcast. Like I told you, no. nobody else can get me up this early. Man, <laughs> no, it is my honor to to speak with you. I mean, you you have done literally so much for women in trucking. It's just unbelievable what you have accomplished uh, with, uh, with, with trucking and she trucking in general, man. Sheree, let, let them know where you from, man. Let them know who you are. So I am Sheree Moore. I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I'm the founder of She Trucking. If you don't know what she stands for, it stands for Sisterhood and Health and Empowerment in Trucking. Gotta give and them. we have over 8,000 women drivers in our community. Man, you know, and, and, and it's like every it's like every female interview that I have done with uh, that's that's lady drivers out here. The common denominator for um, for for support, for help, for mentorship is she trucking. They always mention a big shout out and shout out she trucking. Like, she trucking is, is is where you want to go if you're a female. If you're a new female in the game, this is where you want to go. You want to go and 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 just just feel the vibe from from all eight thousand. How d- tell me. Before, before, well, you know what? Let, let me let me do let me do it a traditional way, man. Let me do it a traditional way. So, what was it like growing up in Chattanooga, Jack, Chattanooga, Tennessee? Wow, a small town. <laughs> um, you know, we are surrounded by mountains. You know, and to get out of Chattanooga, it's it's hard. You know, it, it's very, very hard. I'm um, a small town girl, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. from the valley of Chattanooga. Um, but, and that's why I like trucking. Trucking brought me out of those mountains. It, it was, uh, I, it, I like, I like Chattanooga for it, you know, now as I'm older, you know, but younger, I wanted to get out. I wanted to see the world, you know, mm-hmm. it, it's a, uh, it, it didn't. Ha- we didn't have a lot of opportunities where I came from, you know, and that was a, that was the reason for my brand. You know, I wanted to help people um, with opportunities. That's where that comes from, because I didn't see a woman who was like me, who was driving a truck. Mm-hmm. I didn't see that role model, you know, figure 
you know, other than, you know, your your mother, your grandmother, you know, and they was doing other things more like health care, which is where I come from, being a CNA for eight years. Mm-hmm. But as far as in the trucking community, we was told from home, you can't do it. You shouldn't do it. It's unsafe. You know, just everything discouraging you could hear. Mm-hmm. And, um, and like I said, this lack of resources. So when I picked up that newspaper and I saw free CDL training, <laughs> I jumped on that bus. <laughs> and I ain't looked back ever since. That's what's up, man. That is what's up. That is what's up. So, <laughs> so back then, what what was you what what was life like? What what you was doing before you got into trucking? I was a CNA, so I was a certified nursing assistant, taking care of people. I did it for eight years. So what what inspired? My, my, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't don't mean to cut you off. I was go gonna ahead. say my last client. He was a Holocaust survivor, mm-hmm. and uh, I worked with him for a long time. He had the tattoo on his arm with with his number, his Holocaust number. That man taught me a lot. He taught me a lot. And and the thing about when you're a CNA is you get so close to people and then they, they leave, you know, they leave the world. But that man inspired me. And when he left, I left the industry. <laughs> wow. And it was time for a career change. Okay. Okay. So what, what inspired, what, you know, you, you, you decided to jump into, you know, jump in the trucking industry. What what inspired you to get there? Well, at the time, honestly, I was making about, what, $10,000 um, a year. <laughs> and, um, it, you know, I saw the opportunity to make $40,000. Mm-hmm. And $40,000 minimum, you know. And I just thought it was a no-brainer. You know, I didn't have any kids. I wasn't married. I didn't really have anything to, t- to tie me down. I literally packed up my apartment and left. And, and I lived in my truck for four years. Wow. Okay. Okay. So you you um you jumped in you you jumped into to the game. So of course you went to school. So where where did you where did you decide to go to school for your uh for your for your CDLs? So um I went to Swift Swift uh was the first company I went to. It was hard. It was it was the hardest thing I have ever tried to do in my life. I cried. I laughed. Every emotion that you could think of, I went through in CDL school. When I, I hated to hear that he was a failure because I did not feel, even if you just, like, I remember failing my test and they said, you, you failed. And I said, I'm not a failure because I, I had learned mm-hmm. more than I had had ever known, mm-hmm. you know. And, and I just kept, I hated when I heard I was a failure. And it just made me keep trying. I said, all right, <laughs> I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again. And, and and I had support from other uh, uh, other people in my class who was trying to get their CDL as well. So having support, which now we're still friends to this day. Like, these are still, like, James G. Let me just give some shout outs, okay? Go ahead, go <laughs> ahead, like, go ahead. You, go ahead. Like, Orlando, Roger, like, man, um... Myron, it was just so many people who inspired me to keep going. I'll never forget. I had said I was going to quit and jumped out the truck. And one of the guys stood in front of my truck and said, get back in that truck. I was like, okay. <laughs> and if, But if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be where I am today. And, help, and, and you know, inspired to help other people as well. What was some of the, what was some of the hurdles you, you faced in trucking, get, getting into it? Oh my God, the backing. The backing is a beast. I don't even think I had backed a car before I started backing that truck. What? So, yeah, I didn't. I mean, I probably backed up a couple times, but not like that. You know, <laughs> that was some extreme. 
extreme backing that we had to do. How's your how, how's your back end now though? Oh, it's perfect. You know, <laughs> I'm well, I ain't gonna say perfect because you know, let me not say perfect because every day is a different day. Okay, mm-hmm. so it's, it's never always a perfect day in trucking, but I'm pretty good. Like you can put me to the test and. You know, I, I, I can hold my own. You say you can hold <laughs> your own on the back end. Whatever. So you sweet on a on the sight side and on the blind side. Oh yeah, I'm wow. also now uh, a CDL instructor. Oh, so, okay, you okay. Know, now, okay. Yeah, pushing forward. Um, you know, now I can, I know how exactly what to do with the back of that trailer. You know, I know how to guide the trailer. I can put it anywhere. I can go get my nails done at any shop and put my truck in front of their shop. <laughs> mm. So yeah, mm. good. that that that's nice. sweet right there. I got that. Hold on, right quick. Where where is it? Where is it? Hold on. I gotta get my I gotta get my soundboard. Uh oh. Hold on. There it is. There it is. Hold on, right? I got to get my soundboard together. Uh, there we go. That bomb drop for that back that ass up. That's what's up. All right. So, so throughout, so so throughout your career, how how long you been trucking? Six years. Six years. Uh, throughout throughout your uh, throughout your career in trucking, how 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 many places you uh, rocked out wood and and how many miles you you accumulated? We wasn't counting that big, you know. We just dropped, you know. Mm-hmm. So I've been everywhere. Um, the only place I have not been is North Dakota and the Washington State. That's the only two states I haven't been to. Um, and the only reason I know that is because my grandmother used to write down every state that I went to. So she kept up with it. Oh, okay. Every day she would call me and ask me. So Where are you at? And then I used to, I used to, yeah, she asked me where I am. And I realized, so once we, you know, calculated everything, it's only them two states that I haven't been to. I've been everywhere. There's right. a lot of states I, I won't be going back to as well. <laughs> what states might, might those be? <laughs> you know, the I'm not a I'm not a friend of these mountains. You know, I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd okay. rather stay away from the mountains, more of that West Coast life. Um, I've been there, done that. Mm-hmm. And I know where I like to run. I'm a southern belle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I like the south. I got you. I got you. So let me ask you this. When let me ask you this now. Now that you now that you've been trucking for a while and you got this exposure now for you know for being the founder of She Trucking, and of course you did you know interviews across the internet. What's uh what's the reaction now when 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 people see you at the when you get out of the truck and when people see you at the truck stops? I've met a lot of drivers. When you talk about from drivers, mm-hmm. what's the reaction? Well, I've met a lot of. I mean, a lot. You know, it's love. A, a lot of times, sometimes you know, it is. Um, a lot of times, people don't know. You know <laughs> exactly who you are, unless they follow the story. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm always introducing myself, so I am the type of person that, especially if you're a female driver, I will come up to you and give you one of our flyers. You know, I do come up to people and um, introduce myself. Mm-hmm. So, but it is love, though. It, you know, a lot of we have inspired a lot of people, and um, very proud and honored to have the opportunity to touch so many lives a lot of the women that i and you you spoke about how you know the last couple of people um they um spoke you know and said and, and they come in nominated was she trucking i literally have watched and hit and, and these people these ladies grow okay mm-hmm. my sisters mm-hmm. i have watched my sisters grow in this industry from coming up to me and saying, hey, how is it to be a woman in this industry? To now, they you can see them owning trucks right now. So just going through that whole process, that emotional um, background of getting that CDL to now with a trainer to now I'm a company driver. 
I may do lease purchase, and now I'm on operator on my own truck, and I and operate my own business. Sure, right. So sure. shout out to those ladies. Sure, uh-huh. right. How 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 is it? How is it being a lady driver? How how is it in this industry to be in a lady driver? Well, I'm gonna tell you like I said on Facebook on the Facebook video. We mm-hmm. said ass, and that's just the bottom line. Like I can't think of a better word than that. We are badass. We like, man, <laughs> we badass. Okay, okay, okay. One word, badass, y'all. I got that. All right, so what about, uh, all right, so six years, you've been through all the states. What about the companies uh, you've been with? What, what's some of the, I, I'm going to play pros and cons with you. So what, what was the, pro, what's the pro, what's the best company you rocked out with within your six year, 10 year? RTI, Riverside Transport, has been the best company who I've been with. Okay. Um, they are out of Kansas City, Kansas, and they treat you like a person instead of a number. And and that, that means a lot. Um, their equipment, top of the line. Okay. They, they're on an operator program. You can, When you can see people actually owning their trucks after this lease purchase, it mm-hmm. makes a difference. Okay. Um, they, the the truck comes equipped with everything you need. Like you don't even have to buy anything outside, okay. you know, of what what the truck has. So our, Riverside Transport is my now Rivers now Riverside Transport is the home of another famous YouTuber, Miss Brittany and Pink. Uh, that is her. Yeah. That's her home over there as well. She's the one that drives the big pink uh breast cancer awareness truck uh have you now i know you was on her podcast this past weekend but uh but have you have you met her in person so yeah so actually um this weekend last weekend um we actually went out and ate lunch together so i got to meet her in person oh my goodness she's down to earth very very inspiring you know her story uh, it gives you strength. It lets you know you can do anything, you know. And um, yeah, awesome, very awesome woman. Okay, okay, all right. So, uh, what's the what's the con? What, what what was the worst company that you that you rocked out with? I think this work the worst company I went to was this company called Who Black Hawk. Oh, okay, okay. I I'm I was fami- on the black horse, okay? Right. Signed up for the wrong doggone company, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Okay, <laughs> what was, what was I, your experience I, 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 with them? I literally picked up the truck. Now, I'm only two hours from Atlanta, so I picked up the truck in Atlanta. Okay. Literally picked the truck up, and it broke down with, in, in Atlanta. Wow. Oh. Right, and I was sitting on the side of the highway for hours because no one went after the telephone. Wow. Nobody answered. I literally, I had to call my family member to come and get me because the company would not answer. Wow. It, it, it was a nightmare. How, how it long really did, was a nightmare. How long did it take before you get in con- before you got in contact with them to let you know, let them know that the, uh, that the truck broke down? Uh, the next day. The ne- what? It was the following. Yeah, they didn't. They yes. they didn't call you to find out if anything was wrong. I mean, obvious. A whole day. It took a whole day, and I was oh, I was so mad. I mean, I, I don't blame. <laughs> I had never been to a company like that. You know, most companies you have that twenty four hour, that night dispatcher, or I don't know if that dispatcher was sleep. I don't know what was going on, or if they even had a dispatcher, but it, I was broke down with no help at a brand new company. I knew nothing else, about, nothing about. So how 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 long did that company last? I, that day, that was my <laughs> last. Day. You say that was your first okay, and last day, my, huh? That was my first and last day. Wow. <laughs> 
All right, so Sheree, I I I I read that uh I read that you are uh that you move from company driving into into owner operations. Um tell, you know, tell me uh, tell me how you ended up in, you know, in that in that part of the trucking industry. In order for me to be able to teach others, um I had to push myself into that position. Um and learn because you can only a lot of times just learn mm -hmm. from experience of doing it. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, learn the learn it I had to learn it that side of trucking. I enjoyed being a company driver and I and I um when not having to have any type of obligation. Other than driving that truck, I'm just obligated to drive. Um, and I, but I took on more responsibility um, as being an owner operator. So yeah, I just wanted to be able to help people go into ownership. Um, and so I pushed myself there. Now let me ask you this: uh, Now there's there's a whole bench, a whole bunch of a size of owner operations just being owner op. So. Are you an owner operator just owning your owning your own truck and you're leased on to a company or are you an owner operator with your own authority? Of course I don't have my own authority. <laughs> I work for RTI. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm leased on. All right. So but now let me ask you this. Do you have any do you have any plans? Uh, in the future, to to have your own authority, or you you you're content, to, or, or you content where you at? At least you shouldn't be content where you at. But are you content where you at? Well, right now with you know rates being so low and a lot of you know, if you don't have customers, mm -hmm. then to get up under a company with customers, with freight, with trailers. To me, it's the best way to go. Right now, I'm fine. Like, I'm good. Like, I like where I am. Um, and I like that I don't have to get on this low board and try to find, uh, hunt down, you know, the uh, rates right now. You okay. know, okay. It, it's a relief. It's, it's not stressful for me. I'd rather just, you know, stay at the company I'm at. Um, for me right now, I don't know what the future holds. You know, we're going to keep that open because it depends on exactly. where God leads me and that's where I go. Okay. But God has led me here at this company and um, I'll be here for a while. It's been pretty good for you. All right. So, uh, so did you, did you like buy your truck from a dealership or are you, or are you doing a lease purchase program? through RTI? Uh, no, I came with my truck. Oh, you came with your... So, oh, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So, the, the, let me just say this. when you, If you're interested in becoming an owner operator, make sure that you start saving. Save as much money as you can. Mm -hmm. Like, make, like act like you have a truck payment. Mm -hmm. Get you an account and put that money in, whatever that truck will be your dream truck, and save up for it. The feeling that I felt when I saw my truck, I knew that was my truck, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, out of all the trucks in the world, six years of driving, I saw this truck and I said, oh my God, that's my truck. I just could not believe, like, I couldn't let it go. This is my truck. You know, I, and I kept saying that to my mom. I said, mom, this, I found my truck, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And and when you find a truck that screams your name, that you can um, see yourself in, um, when you won't mind paying for that. You won't mind, you know, if you're doing what you need to do, like I said, get you an account, save your money. Mm -hmm. And don't come out, listen, my advice is Go at ahead. least wait over two years. Okay, mm -hmm. two, three years, wait over that time. And do and it's okay to do a lease purchase program. Do the lease purchase so you can learn. Because I, I, I've done lease purchase so I could learn how to manage my truck. Because it's a business. 
you you're you're operating a business, okay? Mm-hmm. So, um, definitely you want to get that experience and that training, and just save, like save, save, save. Now let me save ask you this: you What's your, let me ask you this? Um, you, you you did say definitely save, save within two years. Would you would you would your opinion be save for a down payment or save for the total truck? Well, it, hey, everybody, everybody, every, it just depends. It's whatever they want to do. So you're going to at least need over $10,000, whether that's for a down payment, whether it's because, you know, with insurance costs or, you know, if you're going to do these purchases, then do something where it's a, buy here, like, you, you can walk away. A walk away lease, you know, you don't have to, but still, you want a maintenance account, you know, so mm-hmm. you know, I always say, get that $10,000 cushion. That cushion helps. Okay. And, you, and to be honest, you need more than that. But, if you got that $10,000, you can make some shape. You can make some happen. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, Sheree. So let's uh let's talk about she trucking, man. Let's let's talk about she trucking. Where did it where did the idea for she trucking come from? Um, well, then I'm gonna tell you how it's always it's funny where the name comes from. My niece, um, she was about seven or eight years old. And people used to say, Where's your aunt? They used to ask about me, you know, different family members. And she would say, She trucking. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> and I and I it just blew my mind that she understood and knew what I was doing. And I was teaching her. I had brought her a map, and I was teaching her how to look up the states. Cause she would ask me, "Where you at? You know, where are you?" And so I would um, tell her where I was, but I would make her look at the map, and she would tell me she's trucking. So that's how that word, um, you know, came in my head. But the brand started because I wanted the uniform, um, and I couldn't find any T-shirts that represent women in the trucking industry. Okay. So when I went to all the truck stops all the way across the United States, I didn't see a truck that said lady trucker. I saw trucker wives. I saw the men trucking shirts. Mm-hmm. And I just mm-hmm. kept looking for one that said I was a lady trucker because I was so proud to be a lady trucker. And I didn't see that. And so I started making them myself. I started, um, I bought a printing machine and everything, and I started printing. And I used to give the shirts away. You know, I used to give them to people just so they could be proud to be right. um, women drivers. And, and, I, and um, I used to give men shirts as well. And so over time, I started meeting so many women drivers that I realized it was important. It, we, I needed to brand it. You know, I needed mm-hmm. to, and people used to ask me, like, where you get the shirt from? And our shirts are on ctrucking.com. Let me just say this. You can I go to already, already got, already got it up. Already got it up. I appreciate it. it. Yeah. I really do. Ctrucking.com. I appreciate it because. You got uh, all sorts what? of you got all sorts of merchandise right here. You got the the hats, the the t shirts, like you got a special edition jacket, uh tank tops, book bags, yeah, www.sheetrucking.com, dot y'all. And what you're saying is my dream. Like mm-hmm. that came to true, okay? So I wanted a brand that people could be proud of. Mm-hmm. I want it to be included. I want I wanted this industry to include women drivers um, and, and, and make it diversified. Of course, we still do not have um, women products in the truck stop, and, the, and that's where I'm going next. So I'm, I need everyone's support because this year I have to have data. I have to have documentation that's saying this is a need. You know, I can say, hey, we got, you know, it's 300,000 women in this industry. But the women have to show that it's the, it's the interest that they also looking for inclusion. And by supporting the brand, you're helping, you're helping me collect data to say, we have support. We need it. We want to be included. We Please make this truck stop diversified. 
because it's the simple things of there are not any gloves in the truck stop that fit my hand. <laughs> so imagine going to Walmart and you can't buy nothing. That's how I feel when I go into a truck stop because we're not included. And people don't think about that. You know, they don't think about, <laughs> you know, and, and it's, I just feel like it's time for a change. And so please support the movement. The movement is for women, the support of women drivers for us to be included into these truck stops. And this year I'm going to present it to these truck stops. Like I'm going to go hard and I'm going to keep fighting until we are included. That's what's up. That is what's up, man. Great horse. She trucking. So, so Sheree, you you started the Facebook group uh, for for uh, women truckers out here. Uh, how the 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 Facebook grown over eight thousand female truckers, and this is not only from the states, but this you're you 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 branched out in other countries. How did that make you feel? I'm very proud. It is a honor. Very, very proud. Like you said, we have women in the UK, Argentina, Africa, Hawaii, so many different women. Um, Canada, oh my God, I have to shout out to my, I got a, a friend that drives from Canada and come into the United States. So I love her. I talk on the phone to her all the time. And um, it's just an honor. It really is. It's, it's a blessing. And I tell people, my brain is led from God. Like, I prayed about it. You know, so mm-hmm. it's not even me. You know, they these people, they come, and they come wanting, you know, the same value. And we, we grab them, and we help them. And, and you see the different languages in the group talking and communicating. Mm-hmm. And I, I've been on live in the group, and literally, I'm press and see translation because there's so many different people on this live feed and our community brings everyone together it, because we have that common interest of trucking so it's she trucking uh, you know i when I, I am i am in awe when when you say how many how, how many women drivers are in this particular group i mean out of all facebook groups this one right here is like the most influential and most innovative group for female drivers out there. She trucking. Definitely, definitely look up uh she trucking in the Facebook. So any lady drivers that's that's coming into the game or lady drivers that are veterans of the game, you know, this this is this is the group for you. You know what I'm saying? If if you want to learn, if you want to learn. Uh, how to be a truck driver or just come in there and kick back and relax. You know what I'm saying? She trucking. This is this is Sheree Moore's dream right here, man. Also, don't forget again, she trucking.com. Let me bring that back up. She trucking.com where you can get her merchandise from. She has hats, uh, t-shirts, jackets, uh, book bags, tank tops. So um so definitely uh support the support the movement support the movement she trucking.com now Sheree, let me ask you this now you know i got to play devil's advocate a little bit what do you what do you say to the naysayers what do you, what do you got what do you say to the guys that comes up in here and say this is you know this is a feminist group or this this is you know negative you know negativity towards the group what what do you got to say to people like that most guys understand what I what I was doing because I'm a real driver. So I've been out here hitting this pavement. I, I was talking to these guys. You got to understand, I didn't know any women when I first got into this industry. So except for one, I, it was a girl that was in my class named Jolene. Mm-hmm. Um, and so a lot of the guys, I was telling them, like, I wanted to build this. Like, it's a need. And they have watched me grow. They was my support. And shout out to the guys. Let 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 me just give a shout out because it was so it's so many guys that support the movement, and it's so many guys who inspired me and helped me and gave me so much information. Okay, when I was when I would ask them 
Like, how to do this? How to do that? Oh, my God, my truck is doing this. What's going on? How to slide my tandem? You know, it was guys like Kemp Alger, um, the transporter. It was some, man, I can name a list of people who have helped me so much in this industry. And sorry if I didn't call your name out. Um, you, you're in my heart. <laughs> y'all know who yeah, y'all are. She's a busy, Avery she's Jones. a busy person, y'all. She can't remember everybody. <laughs> she can't remember Avery everybody. Jones. These are people, and these are people who I still talk to every day and still ask questions. So I just duplicated that and really just started helping other people that in that same way. It was just simply, um, it's just helping, helping one another. Each one teach one. That's all that this is, each one teach one. So to that naysayer, to that person who may say something negative, hey, that's my, you're my motivation. <laughs> you're just my motivation, you know? That's I'm going to sure. keep going, and one day you'll see. Our community is a women's only community. Mm-hmm. So men don't always understand what I'm doing. And that's okay, because we're going to stay a women's only community before the, to make it. To continue to make it safe for uh, women to host freely, because in these other groups they get attacked. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm going to continue to keep it a woman on the community. Um, we have women talk. We talk about everything, and it's and it's okay. You know, it's okay. They can come in, they can express themselves in in a way that we all understand. So, okay. but shout out to the guys, man. Like I said, it's been so. Marcus Durrell, like, I can just keep, he taught me how to, listen, my brother taught me how to draw these 13 speeds, y'all. <laughs> I, I didn't even know, like, if it wasn't for them, I, I wouldn't even know how to draw a 13 speed to this day, you know. Coming, like, one of my brothers came to the, to, to up here to one of my uh, companies mm-hmm. and literally taught me how to draw a 13 speed. Because, you know, we only taught how to draw a 10 speed when we were in school. So you don't know how to do like a thirteen and how was it? Super peen and out. How how was it? How how was it driving that thirteen speed? I like it. I like it. Um, it's been only two companies that I've had to drive a thirteen speed, and um, I like it. It, it the truck really pulls the hill. Um, I could do without it, you know, personally, <laughs> because I feel like it's just extra work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could do without it, but yeah. Hey, I know how. So that's what's that's, up. and that's the key to trucking is making sure that you equip and that you are able to do anything. You know, I, I made sure I had a manual license instead of an automatic restriction, so I can drive any truck. I, I want to know how to drive any truck. Okay, anything that you put in front of me, I want to know how to drive it. All right, so. Let's talk about let's before we get up out of here. Um, and I don't want to take too much of your time because you're a busy woman. But uh, let's let's talk about uh, female driver safety out here. Um, there has been some uh, there has been some incidents in the past uh, where females have lost their lives uh, in this trucking game. Uh, one of which was a couple of years ago. I did a segment on her. I can't remember her name. I cannot remember her name for, for the life of me, but I did do a segment on her. She was found in the Louisiana truck stop. Uh, she was found perishing her truck. Um, what, what kind of safety tips that you can provide for some of these female drivers out here to, to, better, to uh, better protect themselves while they out here driving? Um, my advice is to make sure you have something to protect yourself, whether that's a knife, whether that is mace, <laughs> whatever that looks like, um, whether that's a pie stomper, um, any kind of spray or anything. And I have to say in these years of trucking, I, because I've always stayed on my route, I've always went to major chains. So staying at major chain uh, truck stops, it helps. You know, not getting out the truck at nighttime, it helps. When I shut down, Mm -hmm. I instantly shut my windows and lock my doors, using that seat belt to um, to go, you know, in between your door and and hooking it helps for security. But 
at the end of the day, you have to protect yourself. You know, this is this is the world. You know, mm-hmm. it's the world we live in, you know, and it ain't always safe. And, and sometimes we can go into some rough places and make sure you carry protection. And, and I, you know, I'm not going to apologize. I'm very unapologetic for saying that because, like you said, there's so many people who have lost their life. Right. We just lost a couple of lives recently with Katrina uh, Coleman and, and a couple other people who exactly. uh, have lost theirs. Exactly. So make sure, I'd rather, I'd rather protect myself first. You know, because I want to go home. I want to go home at the end of the day. I don't have time to play. So when people, if people run up on me, they ain't, they ain't leaving. Okay, I'm going I'm to make sure <laughs> that you know who that person was. So <laughs> you say, you, that's you my say, advice. I'm sorry. You, you I'm just going to keep it say, real. You say when they run up on you, you they, 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 ain't, they ain't leaving. <laughs> they is they not leaving. leaving. They, they, I'm a, yeah, I'm going to make sure I show you who it was. You know, <laughs> and, and I'm just being honest because I don't want to sugarcoat it mm-hmm. because this is the industry that you have to be aware of. You know, you got all kind of people. You have to watch your surroundings. You always have to know who's around you. That is the most important key to this thing. When I get out the truck, I can tell you all the shows and what color it is around me. I make sure mm-hmm. that I'm aware of it. You know, I'm not I'm not flipping. You know what I'm saying? And no means. I, I know I'm a product of this environment. Um, it's the same way. Well, so you have to use that, those, that scent, that street smart when you get out here in this truck. Because you're in the street. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's what's up. Uh, what about, uh, what, what, how, how do you curve, um, how can I say it? Uh, flirtatious advances towards you you know a guy a guy sees you a guy sees you and you know he try to come up to you and try to holler at you try to shoot you try to shoot his shot at you how, how, how do you curve uh situations like that most uh people that come up to me they they they'll respect me because of the way i carry myself Okay, mm-hmm. so I'm not, I, I make sure I carry myself where you have no choice but to respect me. There you go. And um, that's it. Like, at the end of the day, I haven't really been disrespected out here. So, um, it, I really have had a lot of respect for people. I, you know, I dress like I'm supposed to. You mm-hmm. know, I do what I'm supposed to do. I don't need, you know. And so it makes a difference. So if you carry yourself um, respectable, people will respect you. That's what's up. I hear you. I hear you. What do you, what what do you think the the next generation of trucking is going to look like out here? Man, the next, the generation, next generation of women of women truck drivers that's going to look like out here. You say. already looking at them. You looking at them, man. The next generation of women drivers. You you got that young generation. That, that generation X and. These 2020 millennials is coming out. They're getting ready to come in, um, you know, who have been through things like the corona, not being able to graduate. You know, the technology, very tech smart. These kids um, that are coming in, mm-hmm. they are computerized. Their mind is a computer. They've been doing computers their whole life. Mm-hmm. So, so they're going to be able to keep up with this technology. But you're looking at the next generation. When you see me, I'm very computer smart. Okay, mm-hmm. I pick up on this stuff easily. Easily, it's nothing to me. When uh, when people who've been in this industry for a long time, they still struggling. Still trying to ELD figure it system. out. Right. See? Right. For me, I was born in it. <laughs> I came in the industry and it was ELD. So they don't bother me. Mm-hmm. I can run on any clock they give me. They said 11 hours, we gotta go. I can run, I can run them 11 hours. How you want to do it? How you, however you want to do it, we can do that because we, you know, because this is what we were born in. We were born in this age, and so that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see a lot more technology in this industry. Um, things are going into automation. I don't care what people say; it's going into automation because that's what the world's doing. Everything's computerized. They're trying to make it. They're showing you that you don't even have to work. <laughs> they don't need you to to make this world run. Through this pandemic, they shut everything down and the world kept running without you. So if you wasn't running, the world was still running without you. Okay? Mm. 
That's a good point right so there. I haven't, I haven't looked at it. I haven't looked at it that way. I, I haven't looked at it that way. I, I feel that this uh this pandemic pretty much you know shut it everything down. It didn't affect it didn't affect the the industry at first, but as the pandemic crept on, it it affected the the industry more and more. You know because a lot of the drivers that was doing non-essential uh, freight was sitting, and the drivers that you know that was hauling reefers and and medical supplies and and other essential products. They were still moving, but they wasn't moving all that. They wasn't moving all like that either. You know what I'm saying? But you're right. The the world still kept moving, though. You know, we we still kept yeah. moving, but it you know it, it it you know if 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 the if the economy don't open back up soon, which they are doing little by little, uh, yeah, it's it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna put a much more effect. On uh on 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 trucking as a whole. Speaking of which, uh, how C nineteen? But it also wakes them up. Yeah, I was about to. It say. also wakes them up mm-hmm. to realize what job they need to switch to, where you mm. need to go. What okay. is the essential job? Okay. Now, now all the jobs that you thought that matter, mm. it says you better get with one that do matter. Mm. You better get with that company that never stops. Mm. You know, it, it makes you adjust yourself. It, may, it really makes you check yourself. Because okay. even for me, I had to say, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me find a customer. Let me let me think about this differently. It shut people down mentally. Mm-hmm. But people who was already woke were still, were still running. They were still moving. Mm. It didn't shut people. It, it, we came out a lot of, we in a pandemic right now. A lot of people came uh, in this pandemic. And a lot of people who I talk to on a daily basis, they said, you know what? Through this, I have gained. I don't know if you heard that. But mm-hmm. they say, through this, I have gained. Whether that was in this process, I have educated myself to learn other things, like dispatching, brokering, other other parts of the industry. Um, you know, you got driver management positions. People don't even think about that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's so much you can do. Human resources and so many other categories you can do. If it, because this, and it makes you think, like, what happened if truck and stop? What am I going to do? Mm. You need that plan B, that backup plan. Mm. Okay. So <laughs> okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, Sheree, thank you for coming on. Sheree Moore, she's a entrepreneur, coach, speaker, founder of uh, She Trucking Out Here. She is the most innovative and most influential professional on social media. Do me a favor, Sheree. Let let them know all your social media outlets where the ladies and gentlemen can find you at. So we're on Facebook, a fund she trucking. Men and women can like our page. Our community, she trucking sisterhood is a women's only community. You can go to our website. On the website, it has so many tools and resources. We have a list of schools if you're interested to get into the industry. We got a business directory that has so many resources in it. I don't even think people realize all. If you click the menu button, it's so much more. Um, and we have a job board, radio show, Sea Truck and Podcast. Follow us. Just Google Sea Truck and then follow us. Follow the movement. And go, don't forget to get your shirt. Support the movement. Guys, we got guys shirt on there. Those gray and white, those gray shirts and the black shirt, that's for the guy, you know. So you can support the movement and also grab a hat. Okay. That's a conversation starter, brother. Like our man, get you a seat truck and get your hat. And uh, see how many females come up to you and say, hey, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, brother? Because you it's said- just as important for us to see the brotherhood, because, you know, as we show you the sisterhood. So we want to see our brothers out here supporting us. We want to know who can we relate to, who can we talk to. We want to see that brotherhood form as well. That's what's up. That is what's up, man. Well, man, I I don't know. I don't know what to say. Hmm. I, I enjoyed my conversation with uh, Miss Sheree Moore right here, man. Everybody, y'all put your hands together for her. 
Thank you for coming on, ma'am. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for having me. It's been an honor. You're the best, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, of course, if you guys want to come on just like Sheree Moore did, all you got to do is hit me up in the Gmail. Lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up with the phone number, 216-600-2090. Or you can hit me up in Instagram. Hey, you can also go over to Instagram for She Trucking as well. You know what I'm saying? She Trucking from uh, her Facebook group. She Trucking Podcast. She Trucking Merch. She Trucking Everything. It's the movement, y'all. It is the movement. Sheree, I'm about to turn it down for a little bit. Is there any is there any tips or advice that you can give uh women and ge- and gentlemen is there any is is there anything that you could give for them if you know for their decisions to come into trucking um just come on we're waiting for you and i want to leave you with my quote my quote is gonna sleep with the dream and wake up with the purpose Sleep with the dream, wake up with the purpose. That is what's up. Well, everybody, that is it. I appreciate you guys coming on. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more more content like this. And if you like to just listen to the podcast, all you got to do is hit me up in uh, Google, Google, I I mean, Google uh, Podcasts iHeart Radio Podcast, Apple Podcasts. I'm all over the podcast platform. So if you don't have time to watch, definitely listen. All right. And on that note, me and Sheree Moore, we are out of here. It's it's over. It's over. It's over. That was fun. All right. I like it. I like when the music make it more lively, like those sound effects. And that was, that was awesome. <laughs> hey, you got that radio voice. I appreciate it. Voice. I appreciate it. Thank um, you very I, much. I'm I, really trying to get people to start thinking outside the box. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I think we get stuck in this box. Like, like how can they say we're not working? Go find your job. People still hiring. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm just really trying to make people think outside the box. So I appreciate you giving me that message. You very welcome. I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming on, man. So don't be no stranger. You know what I'm saying? Don't be no stranger. If you got anything that you want to promote or anything like that, definitely think of me. I appreciate it. Make sure you share my t-shirts. I will because share your. I will last share your week t-shirts. I'm doing pre-order, and um, like I said, I'm trying to get this data together because so I can say, hey, this is. We want to be included, you know, and it's hard. It's, it's, it's going to be a challenge, you know. It is. Um, it's real hard. They got to see, see the support. They got to see it. 